Oh, that is sad to see. A tiring Nadal concedes his serve for the second time. Such a clear head. Well, both of them finding absolutely miraculous shots. Believe me, it isn't over yet. And look at this. A new lease of life. from Nadal gives him the advantage at 5-4 in this dramatic fifth set. And a leap for joy after that one. And why not? So easy, thought Coria. I can't have missed it. But last draft has been to see the mark and confirms that indeed it was long. in now to shake the hand of his opponent and the umpire and to acknowledge now the cheers of this crowd. What a heroic performance it was from both of them. And the Nadal camp overjoyed that he has won three tournaments in a row. Brilliant, sublime tennis from Federer. Oh, yes. A moment of magic. 
magic from Federer. Well, we've got a little bit of everything here in that opening set. Some great stuff initially from Maya, and then some Seven. phenomenal rear guard action from Federer. And he takes it. Seven games to five in exactly an hour. Wonderful length and an excellent set of tennis that without a shadow of a doubt. There's been no problems at all on serve for Federer in this set. Two points away now. Oh, that one just skidded off the line, I think. Yep. away from beating Roger Federer at the very first time of asking that was a great get from Fed but it was a winner if it was over anything over the net and the match is done and dusted he needs to regroup now but he's got a chance to make amends here Great forehand from Federer. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How does Federer get out of jail in this rally? Majestic tennis, just when he needed it most. Oh. Maya did well there though, to not only make the return, but then to quickly cover the distance, to make that target smaller for Federer. Here's his first on his own deal. This time, Federer makes no mistake with the backhand pass. Number five. Oh, that was so close to going over. That would have caused Federer all kinds of problems. Here's his chance. Oh, it's amazing. Absolutely superb stuff from Federer. Robin, you were spot on. Just the one match point, all that Federer required. Tears of despair for Leonardo Maia. He cannot believe that he's let that one get away. Federer has dodged a bullet without a shadow of a doubt this evening. He gets it done in two hours and 41 minutes. 7-6 in the third, saving five match points along the way. He just came inside the ball a little too much.
produces a miraculous return of serve. Gotta add it to Kyrgios. Well, it would have been the wrong way to end the set. This time he has found it. Intoxicating first set here in Miami. Cheeky. How many more times are we going to see that in future years? To be fair to him, he did actually warm a couple of these up in the warm up before this match. Outstanding. Just a little too nonchalant. Wow! Kyrgios with a stunner. He's not going to win this one 11 9, though. Okay. Nick Kyrgios. Doesn't do him any good, though. Oh, he did well because Kyrgios annihilated the forehand. Wins what will surely go down as one of the matches of the year. Baseline, a baseline. It looks like he's never going to miss. Yes, he can.
My goodness. The kid is unbelievable. You have got to be kidding. Outrageous pickups here. This is the first. Spagna versus Italia. And the youngster gets it done in Miami. And listen to this crowd. Viva Italia. Nice way to finish the opening set for Rafael Nadal, who was nowhere near his best, really. ...tournament a few weeks ago. Just stood his ground, David Goffin, and Nadal went right back into him there. Quite unbelievable, this Very sport well. at times. Rafael Nadal had two match points, wasn't able to take them, and David Goffin steals the second set. shot today but the courage to play it at match point down so good Fighting a, an uphill battle right from the start at that point. It's well done. Oh, you're kidding me. He's gone to it again. Extending 99th ATP Masters 1000 quarter final. Carlos Alcaraz. Novak 
ジオコビッチ。Audacious, but we shouldn't expect anything else. And Alcaraz has chipped away at the lead. What a set and what a reaction. Seven games to six. That is what it means to the world number one. Quite something. The vision, the skill, and the execution. Truly sensational. The man from Murcia steps up yet again. He will not back down. A special talent wins a special match here in Madrid. Carlos Alcaraz becomes the youngest player to defeat a world number one in 17 years. He becomes the first player ever to defeat Nadal and Djokovic back to back on a clay court.